Hi, I'm Max and today you will see how I was carved from a block of wood. Just come over here and I will show you. Hi guys, I'm Vladimir, this is Humboldt Spirit and I will show you how Max was born and uh, what you need to carve him. So this is uh, what I do first. I do a little simple clay model like this, which helps me to understand the form and uh, details. And uh, then I carve according to that. Um, I used a um, little block of uh, basswood, this one. I import this little package uh, from Amazon from America. Um, I used to import it to New Zealand and uh, it comes to Czech Republic as well so I don't see a reason why it can't be delivered to another country in the world. So you can pretty much start with this right now. Um, of course we will need whittling knife, pencil, then uh, thumb guard is a really good idea. And of course, uh, cut resistant glove. This one is level five. Um, for me, it's enough. Uh, so far, so good. If you need something stronger, it's also, it's also quite good idea to have something more protective than this. But for me, this one is sufficient. And uh, yeah, I will show you how to carve max um, from this slightly bigger block this one is one quarter bigger than than this smaller one it has uh, about 67 cent uh, 67 millimeters this is 50 mil and this is 25 mil so one inch 50 mil this is two inches and this was uh, two inch and five eighths Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with few lines. I divide the block in thirds. So like that, like that. I use my middle finger as a guide. And I just go around like that. and divide it in the thirds. Um, the front, I'll just mark a center line and next to it, about two millimeters, I mark another two lines from each side. This will be for our uh, nose. And um, I connect them, these lines, I connect them with those with this first third this will go away this will go away and i mark a little around half circle around here and i make this rounded so let's just start rounding this bump just like that can go slower of course so let's round it and round this with bigger cuts this is why we really appreciate to have straight grain in the wood because when there will be some curves of the grain this will be really hard to do so this is a half circle and now with the front we have this corner here let's get get rid of it just brute force no mercy it's just a piece of wood like that one side 
see how I can split it because the grain is straight. Oops, too big. <laughs> you can do smaller ones. If it's too big, just do smaller ones, smaller slices. Same on the other side. Just like that, these two lines are connected with one flat surface. A few splits. and slice it like that right so this is our basic shape and now we will uh, redraw the the pattern on the wood so this is um i, I just i just redraw it because it's way quicker and uh, i have prepared for you this uh, this pattern here uh, for Labrador Max, uh, so uh, this is uh, it comes from two sizes. One comes for this little block I was talking about in the beginning, and the second one is that enlarged one, which I'm doing right now. You can download this. Um, there will be first link down below the video in the description, and just print it on the format of A4 paper and uh, you should be good to go. So when we have it redrawn like that, um, we just start to outline outline the, the back here and then the front. So like that. With, with this hand I'm pulling and with this hand I'm pushing and slicing just like that this movement like that checking checking the line So now we need a little bit more control, uh, so we use the thumb, just like that, and um, let's get rid of this, cut across the grain. And that's the that's the back. Uh, let's start with the front here. I carve as much as I can to his feet. like that and now I do here a little stop cut Just like this this stop cut will indicate where the feet are ending and it will help us to, to know where to stop with, with this shaving. Like that. Okay, see how it was helpful for us? Now do the other side. Just 
like that. And make it flat. Yep, so this all could be done with a copying saw, but we are working with a knife only today. So yeah, there we go. Uh, the next step is that we start to work on, uh, on the ears. So just dip your knife, just the tip in here for like two million and do a little cut towards it. it again, go deeper, just like that. And same, we will create, uh, we will create a small notch between the ear and this leg here. So when this one is ready, when this one is ready, we spin it around and do the same thing here. Just run that slice all the way along along this line and uh, extend this line and again cut this out just like that. Go deeper, same line with the ear. And with the small cuts or bigger ones, just go deeper. Just like that. So now we have here this little hump. Let's get rid of it. We don't need it. One side. Other side and the middle. Okay, this is the notch. Let's do it on the other side, same thing. So slice with the tip of the knife. Cut towards it. Go deep enough. Just like that. Spin it around. Cut that. Um, again, you can do smaller ones only. Just small ones like this. That's enough. You don't need to. You don't need to do it like like me. That uh, I carve like a big chunks like this. It will come with the time. Like so. Okay. And again. Get rid of that. Get rid of this hump and the middle. So far, so good. Uh, the next step is that um, we take off these uh, these uh, corners above above the legs so again just I, what I do a stop cut and this is kind of I just split it basically I don't even I don't even carve it same in here just push the knife and the timber in the knife same in here here 
above this foot just be a little bit careful just do really small uh, small stop cuts and stop and small cuts towards it and just carry on gradually because what can happen is that this can this can uh, fly away very easy so just be a little bit gentle when you are in the depth uh, same depth like the rest of the leg just leave it and get rid of this and do it like that and push it just like that tidy it up done okay so that was one one leg we will do it on the other side Go in. Take it out. And here the same thing. Dip the knife in. Make a stop cut. Another stop cut here. And better do just the gentle slices. and work your way to the depth to the same depth as as the leg here and just get rid of this Come on, what's wrong with you? Okay, that's the one. And now we mark the ridge, the center line on the ridge, like that. And next to on next to it on each side, maybe like three millimeters, we mark another two lines on each side. So one and this one is the second one yeah so just like that we start with the stop cut here just behind the ear right to the line over here and now we go with a long one cut towards the stop cut okay just like that same on the other side, like that, and again, one long cut, just like this. Of course you can do smaller cuts if you don't feel like. Also one uh, small stop cut here about a mil deep and round the ridge of the dog okay there we go <clears throat> so this is how it looks like so far I can see quite sharp edges over here, so I can tidy it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. One cut here. That's good as well. And um, yeah, I can also cut these li little corners 
to make his legs a bit more rounded. Just like that. And like that. And the same on the other side. One. And two. Can tidy it up a bit. <clears throat> so those will be his legs. And we can move on to the bum. <laughs> Just like that. Make it rounded. Easy. Just round the bum. Get rid of the pencil marks. Carve with the grain. Just like that. So the bum is rounded. And the next thing we do is that we mark the tail. So I go with the tail on this side. And like that. And I do a little V-cut. One. And two. And get rid of this. Oh, come on, what did I do here? Okay, just like that and uh, like that. Get rid of this edge and this edge. So what I do is I lay the knife flatter and the tail is more pronounced here. Yep, and that's enough, just like that. The next thing is that I can round these edges on the legs. Like this. Um, that down in here and here across the grain and uh, get rid of the pencil mark just lay it flat and do tiny little cuts yeah so that's about it and also one slice here, same on the other side, so cut, 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 cut and cut, just like that. And one slice here, like that. Yeah, he's getting out from the wood, right? So we got rich as and uh, the, the legs, done. The next thing is that we will uh, carve out the ears. So again, simple stop cut with the tip of the knife and carving towards it like that. Just like this. Slowly, like that. 
what we want to achieve here is that we want to have uh, we want to have we want to have uh, this surface on the same level as as this uh, surface around the snout. Yep, just like that. Don't worry about this. We will tidy it later. Up and just go straight. This is the top view. Okay, makes sense ear is sticking out at the moment like that and the same on the other side uh, we're gonna do it just like that stop cut and you can you can do small ones you don't need to rush it like I do yeah Small cuts. <laughs> so again, stop cut and one cut. Cut towards it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this a little bit more. Yep, so this is the top view. Ears, yep. So that's about it. Um, let's do the, the chest. So let's start with the stop cut at the bottom here. And uh, this is the bottom of his snout. So we will make it a little bit rounded. Again, you can do one long cut towards the stop cut like that. Again, one cut here and one cut here. Right, that's about it. Same on the other side, stop cut quite deep stop cut and let's round the face and the body just be careful here at the end because you can blow off the, the legs <clears throat> That's enough. Good, 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 good. Um, what was the next thing? Oh yeah, the snout and the eyes. Uh, if we have a look at the pattern again, there is uh, this this shape. So remark it. And uh, when you use copping saw, it's, it's, it's already gone, but we will do it with the knife. So uh, you can start like this with the corners in the middle and slowly make your way to get rid of this material. This is tricky because it's end grain. So we need to do small, smaller cuts and we need to really slice with the knife, not just push in, in the timber. Use the corners like that. And we will get to the line very soon, hopefully. So we just like that. Just like that. Okay.
Yeah, that's pretty good. Or just one more. Okay, like this. Whoa. Right? That's it. And um, and we can do one little cut here. One small cut on the other side. To shape the top of the snout. That's it. And um, we also make the eyes a little bit around it. So there will be like an arc at the top here, like that. And we get rid of it. So stop cut here and cut like that. Top cut here and cuts like that. Yep, it's pretty much him almost. Just tidy it up a bit. Right. Um, uh, let's cut this uh, nose just like that. One little cut front of the snout and sides a little bit like this. Yep. <laughs> Right, and uh, the ears are pretty funny <laughs> now. <laughs> so that will be again two simple cuts. So we just mark this this line. This is like one mil from from the head, and we what we want to do we connect this line to this line here. So all of this between will go like this and at the top go around that's the one. <clears throat> And uh, from the back, I know from somewhere here, uh, it's about three millimeters from this corner. We have a, we will make a mark. The mark will go to somewhere about here, which is like six millimeters. And uh, we will make a cut from here to about here. It's kind of like a rounded cut to the top of his head. Right, that's the ear. Let's do the other side quickly. Just like that. You can always do small cuts, you don't need to cut the big ones like I do. Like this, right, and same on this side, right to the top of his head. You can get rid of this little, mm, yeah, 
yeah, that's the top of the head, like that. And yeah, it's pretty much him. We can start detailing. So in between the eyes, I have a little groove. Just cut it like that. Stop cut at the bottom, right like this. Uh, then I I do the nose as well. So mark it. <laughs> like this. And with the little small cuts. Make that nose pronounced. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just like that. one here okay Ta -da! this little nose um, I like to make him smiling like that and uh, another cut there simple V cut right to the top here Like this, what's wrong here? Yep, something like that, and um, another V cut on the other side. him and also look at him he's here woohoo Maxito <laughs> cool and at the top just draw two lines like that I would say it's like one two three thirds one two three thirds and same just do the V cut V cut, V cut, spin it around, V cut, and uh, V cut, and just lay it flat and make his head a little bit rounded. Get rid of this edge here. Like that. See? He's got a little, another detail. And pretty much the last bit will be the, the feet. So simple. Squarish feet. Like this. Like that. Makes sense. Hope it, yeah, it's visible. Uh, I do one cut diagonally and then I slowly make my way in with these cuts. Just need to be quite careful here because it is really easy to blow the feet off. Like that. Same in here. Done. 
and what I do is that I just make them round, round it like that, up like that, like that. This one round it, this one round it. And this one around it. Sweet. Oh, I completely forgot about his um, collar. I mean this this neck neck necklace necklace. Or I don't know how how does it called in English. So just like that. <laughs> one little line and uh, just connect the tips of the ears with the second line and this line is about five mil below the the ears here and also the name tag just mark it mark some circle just like that and simple Stop cut. Stop cut like this. Chut. Cut Max's throat. Sorry, brother. Will hurt only for a while. And uh, slice towards the cut. Oh, my knife is writing already. See this little imperfection? I have some, some, um, some uh, like a neck in in and neck in the in the blade. I should run it through the strop now a few times, and it will it will help me. But yeah, I will finish it off with it again. Stop cut like that. Oops. And get rid of it. And do longer cuts. So the, the the body will be smoothly. The the body will go smoothly to the um, to this little stop to this stop cut here. Uh, what I mean is, if I if I do just little cut here, it will be it will be corner. So this is why I start here. And uh, same in here. Need to go a bit deeper. Just like that. And cut this one like that and probably need to go deeper here oh what happened okay just like this yeah and the last thing is Cut this little groove to divide that name tag with the with that belt. Just like that. Ta -da. Oh, sorry. I always forget at least one thing. So hopefully or probably the last thing. V cut for 
the legs. And here as well. Okay. Sweet. There he is. The dog Max. Ready to be painted. Uh, yep. <laughs> Pretty much him, just like that. So this was Max, and uh, just grab some paints and give him some nice coat. I think he deserves it. I use uh, acrylic paints. These ones uh, I quite like on them that I can mix my own uh, tone and my own color. And uh, yeah, just a few colors and a linseed oil as a finish for, for uh, having that grain stand it out. I quite like that. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Um, if, you, if you want to see more videos, uh, just subscribe. It helps me as well to create more content. And I always like to see new people in our Facebook group. Uh, you will find the joining link right below in the description, right below that link for the pattern, which you can download. And uh, I will see you there or in another video. Have a good one.